This is a very basic unit conversion question that most people are going to be able to do either in their head or more likely with just a basic calculator without writing anything down. But I think it's a good habit to write this kind of stuff down because as they get harder, the SAT will count on you kind of doing the wrong arithmetic with the numbers that they give you. And setting this up, since there's only two units, is very easy. We're just making two fractions and setting them equal to each other. So in this case, uh, the special camera is there. Okay, the camera is at a depth of 39 fathoms. What is the camera's depth in feet? So I'd say, okay, I don't know the feet, but I do know that 39 fathoms is kind of the equivalent to that. And then I would use another fraction to kind of set these things up as so that they're equal, right? So six feet over one fathom. Right, so the, the key is when you do this, the unit on the top should be the top of both fractions, the unit on the bottom should be the bottom of both fractions, and that's how we know we did it right. Then we can just cross multiply, and x times one is x, six times 39 is probably 234, but you can check, so 39 times six is indeed 234, and that's it, that's the whole question. But the reason I'm making a big deal about it is, you know, they get harder. And so if we had bad habits and we end up doing the wrong arithmetic because we're doing it in our head, we might end up with a choice like uh, D, 7, because if we did 39 divided by 6, that's 6.5. Not quite seven, but certainly if you were really sure that you are so smart you could never get anything like this wrong, you'd be like, oh, they just rounded it, and you'd pick A, right? Or sorry, you pick D. So uh, you know, I'm always a, I'm always thinking about traps. I'm always thinking, what is the SAT setting you up to do to fail? Because if we uh, have problems on the easy questions, then you can bet we're going to have problems on the hard ones. But if we set good habits on the easy questions, we're going to also have those good habits on the hard ones as well.